Ready, Devin? I'm ready. With that smile, we're always ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hello and welcome everybody. This is one of my favorite episodes I'm so excited about. Welcome to Tasting Talk. This is our Santa Barbara Pioneers episode. These are the gentlemen that are more responsible for me getting into wine than anybody else. You can blame them. With me is Fred Brander of Brander Vineyards and also Doug Marjoram, the fabulous Marjoram and the wine cask. Devin, where are we sitting right now? We are in the Marjoram Wine Company tasting room with Doug Marjoram at the wine cask. We're very excited to be here, very honored. Um, some of the greatest winemakers in the world we have with us, so today is a like real that. treat. Yeah. It's true though, it's true though. We did the other episode for the big holiday reds and we we're with, you know, Sean of Happy Canyon, yeah, sure. and Jamie Sloan, and they just kept saying, Doug this and Doug that and Doug yeah. that, but we better have Doug on camera. So here we go. And Fred, you're, again, you've been here since, God, when did you first plant him up here? Boy, it's hard to remember it that far, <laughs> but uh, actually this is my 40th anniversary as far as making soy and blonde. And basically Fred sort of gave me my start and taught me most of what I know about making wine, so I owe everything to this guy. You've heard this before, but my very first wine tasting class was one of the first ones you taught. Oh, sure. That was the very first education. I, I learned a lot about wine teaching those classes. I bet. Fantastic. I bet, absolutely. Doug's learned from Fred, you've learned from Doug, I'm learning from you. <laughs> well, I think what's what's interesting when people come to Santa Barbara County and they hang out with the winemakers and, and spend time in this wine region is that how friendly we are all with each other yes. and how we're all friends. So let's do this. Let's so keep fun. telling stories, but let's drink some wine while we're, while we're doing that. Yes. And so what you have here is basically some of your iconic flavors that you guys have mastered. So where do we want to start? This okay. is uh, Cuvée Natalie. Yeah. And uh, this is after my, my daughter. It's really Sauvignon Blanc blended with Riesling and Pinot Gris. The idea is really to create an aromatic ensemble. You know, if Sauvignon Blanc doesn't smell good, hey, why even go past that step? Absolutely. Know? Let's chase the natural. The natural is probably our best expression of Sauvignon Blanc. This is my favorite wine that Fred makes. Um, this is amazing. Um, it's, it, with the skin contact, it almost becomes savory yeah. in the mouth. So it's not like the I Love Lucy episode where she's crushing on it. No, they do. Well, they actually it can be. Really? Like old Italian I, ladies who <laughs> run around barefoot. Right. Right. Want, I've seen it. They do. That would be a dream. No, I, I, I'm, I'm in. I I'm sure there that. was a skin contact soya blanc, you know, 50, 80 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> However, I have not had the You have to not. Find no, this is yeah. different. That, that Lucy show has corrupted all of them. <laughs> Because every woman that comes to the winery wants to, when they see the grapes and, and they want to, can we, can we get in there? Yeah, like, of course we do. No, you cannot. No, you cannot. But sometimes you just have to. You I know you turned your back and turned around yeah. and somebody's been in there. Take off all your clothes and not going get in there. <laughs> so what's next? So maybe we should have uh, the in five. What color on this is stunning. Is that beautiful? It is yeah. so beautiful. It's a great raspberry color. It's so fun because it never disappoints. It always makes me just fall in love with it again. Yeah, I call it my uh, puppies and baby one. Because <laughs> if you don't like puppies or babies, then you won't like him. But <laughs> you got a problem. Exactly. You got a problem. I'm so enjoying this. Awesome. You guys are just such the balance and master your palate, and that's why everybody's trying to copy you guys because you just it's so even. It's just so warm and round. So Marjoram's my main main brand, and then Barden is uh, uh, a new label for me. It's actually my middle name. That's a very that is a very lush and rich Pinot. You know. Well, the fresh, you know, delicious. have that expression, but a great burgundy is like Jesus in velvet pants going sliding down your throat. <laughs> it's a classic French expression. What is it? Say that one Jesus more time. Jesus in velvet pants? Jesus in velvet pants. Sliding down your throat. I Can love it. Just imagine that. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Last yeah, I think that's also because you take a sip and you go, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get some velvet pants. <laughs> oh, velvet pants, velvet pants. Oh, yeah. So what's next? Nice? What do we got? Uh, we got, got Fred's. Oh. And why does it, yeah. it tingles? What, is that a proper term? I don't it know. Tingles? It tingles, yeah. yeah it tingles. Why does it do that? It sort of uh, giggles your gums. Yeah. <laughs> Certain wines sometimes have a little bit of CO2 in them. It's okay. left over from fermentation. I like CO2 in my wines because I don't have to use as much sulfur. Mm -hmm. I'm very sensitive to sulfur. And so sometimes when you first open a bottle, there might be a little bit of CO2 in it. And and it just keeps it, you can see there's a little little bubble around mm -hmm. there. It just keeps the wine fresh and bright. Yeah. And um, it, 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 I think you have seem to have a higher sensitivity to it because a lot of people don't pick up that the, the wine has CO2 in it at all. Wow. These wines pretty much have a story. Yeah. And that's what I like to read because I, I read, wow, that's kind of neat. I want to try that wine just based on the story. Maybe it's time to have Amaro. 
It is absolutely right. time to plug. <laughs> What's the story with this? Okay, so amaro means bitter yeah. in Italian. Yeah. So, so this is a bitter. And I started this about eight years ago <clears throat> by fortifying some wine with uh, brandy and infusing it with 40 different botanicals. So it has roots and herbs and barks and orange peel mm -hmm. and lots of other fun stuff that I can't disclose all of it. Otherwise, okay, I'd don't talk, don't talk. That's yeah. kill you. This is the only time I really feel like a drug dealer. Uh, <laughs> it's like, here, little girl. <laughs> have a little sip of this. <laughs> and then, uh, then like, later on, she's like, give me some tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I'm in danger now, you guys. <laughs> You know, it's cool. Gentlemen, I just have to say that like I, I have spent this entire conversation sitting here with a silly little grin on my face, <laughs> just smiling at you two guys. And like normally I'm driving an interview harder or I'm participating more, and I'm just sitting here like Holy. I mean totally. It's just like this is just so warm. And Devin, come on. You've just met the rock stars of wine <laughs> right here. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. There's none left, but cheers. Oh, okay. Good. Tasting cup. Cheers. It was on it. Send them all to my pioneers, everybody. Stay tuned. Thank, thank you, guys. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> yeah.